Hello, hello, hello there, beautiful people of God. It's your lady friend, Elisha Matikoa, and I um, am here for the Worship Wednesday, Reflections of a Worshiper. Um, I did not do it last week. There are some things that I, I want to share with you all. Um, for those who are out there to keep on pressing in, keep on pushing, especially if you consider yourself to be a worshiper. And again, as I said in my last post, that all of us who declare that we are people of God should be a worshiper. So anyway, um, I want to share a little bit about uh, my story and some of the things that I've been going through and dealing with as a, a woman of God, as a worshiper prophetess all that good stuff um so i've been diagnosed with covid19 and uh during the process of me dealing with the covid19 um on mother's day i got really sick again so on mother's day i ended up being in the hospital a lot of people don't know i didn't share with anyone um but i ended up being in the hospital and um, when I was in the hospital, they had me connect to all these tubes and stuff so um, I can have more liquids, uh, fluids, fluids in, in my body. Um, they were giving me all these different type of pills. It's some pictures that I wanted to share. They even uh, prescribed me some albuterol and um, I had to take a couple of pieces of uh, uh, quite a few pills that they prescribed to me as well. Uh, my body was not fighting it well because I had a second infection, another infection that I had, my body had to fight off too. So they had me in the hospital for quite a few days. Um, they had, they were monitoring my heart because my heart rate was a little high, uh, monitoring my breathing because I really wasn't breathing at the full capacity, uh, which is again, why they prescribed me this albuterol thing. Um, but I still, stay prayerful still stay hopeful um and god when it came to this coronavirus stuff so when i first got diagnosed it was in march when i first got diagnosed at the end of march and actually for those of y'all who know me those who don't know me um when i got diagnosed uh when i went to the hospital it was actually the day that my sister died it was her birthday march 23rd i'll never forget it but she died on her 21st birthday which was march 23rd so when i went to the hospital I, I wasn't feeling well i went to the hospital march 23rd and then they um diagnosed me told me that i had covid uh 19. um they did not keep me in the hospital at that time but they did express to me and told me that i needed to you know attack it like you attack any other virus um and so i did that for about a month, um, I still was tired. I still was dealing with things. Hey, Pastor. Hey, Pastor Cruz. Um, hey, Gina. Gina, everybody else. I don't know who else is on. Hey, hello, all of y'all. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much. Hey, cousins and all of y'all good people. So, okay. So, can you imagine if you um, got a store, got... Um, the news that you have COVID-19, this thing that they are saying that's deadly, is killing a lot of people. You know, me, all I could do was start crying. But but once I stopped crying, once I wiped my tears away, I know I had to start to pray as a worshiper. That is something that we should have in our repertoire. It ain't just about singing. It ain't just about standing in front of people doing praise and worship. Um, even those who minstrels who play during the praise and worship section is not just about uh, uh, you getting up there playing your instrument and um, playing the nice riffs on the keys and all of that stuff. Uh, we still have to have a prayer life. We have to have a word life. We have to be in the in our in the Bible, and we have to pray and we have to be strong we have to put on the full armor of god as the bible says there is something that god um had woke me up out of my sleep uh for the last two days uh and it's ephesians the um the sixth chapter where it's talking about and i'm and the focus verse you can read from 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 10 to 22 but the focus 
verse is 12 and it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places and some of the verses say in heavenly places so we got when we are standing in the forefront, we are standing before people when we, as worshipers, praise and worship leaders. We have to have the word inside of us because we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are not just singing to the flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against the principalities, against those things that are attacking the people. So we should go before the people when we stand before them or before we stand before them, preparing ourselves. Hey, sister. Hey, Charity. Hey, uh oh, prophet. Beaver, hey, hey, perfect. Um, so when we stand before the people, or before we stand before the people, we should prepare ourselves and download on the inside of us, and we should say to God, and this is something that I do, and I'm not just, I don't just say stuff to uh, try to preach to people, <coughs> to tell them this is what you should do, but when it comes to preparing for worship, yeah, we got to learn songs and stuff, but there are songs that God would download on the inside of us from heaven. And it's a it's sound. There are sounds that God would download to the minstrels who are playing, whether you on your bass, whether you on your drums, whether you on the keys, but you have to be tapped in into the kingdom of heaven. Because again, we are wrestling not against flesh and blood. We should not pay attention to the faces of the people as the Bible tells us. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting excited, y'all. So anyway, let me keep on going. Me, as a worshiper, again, there have been times where I have been sick um, and I still had to stand before God's people. And I did not do it in my own strength, but I tagged God in. You know, um, um, if you think about a wrestling match, um, if you ever watch WWE, yeah, that stuff is fake, but it's still kind of real at the same time. Uh, you watch a wrestling match or you watch a tag team wrestling match. And that's the same way that we got to be with God. <clears throat> okay, God, you woke me up this morning. I'm awake now. I have to go before your people on this Sunday morning or whatever days your services are on. If you have midweek services, God, you woke me up. God, you led me through this day. So now... It's your turn. Once you get before pe get before the people or before the people, this is what I always say. I say, God, it's your turn. You know, or I just say, okay, Jesus, or okay, Lord, whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is you have for your people, you know, I'm a conduit. We are conduits when we stand before God's people. We preach, in, if we preach in a sermon as a worshiper, we are conduits. It's not about us. We are the vessels that God is using again. Be, we as the vessels that are being used we are not wrestling against flesh and blood <clears throat> but against principalities against powers against the rules of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places in high places there are a lot of people who are in the kingdom of god who deal with depression there are a lot of people who deal with abusive relationships at home there are a lot of people who deal with mental instability um, at home before they come to church or some people who deal with suicidal thoughts you just never know what's happening with the people and so you we me too have to ask hey God what do you have for your people because we wrestle not against flesh and blood now we gotta speak we got to sing, we got to play, we got to preach, we got to teach to the heavenly places. Wrestling against those dark things, those principalities. And when I say putting on a full armor of God, for those who don't know, it's further down in the scripture. Again, that's in, that, start, that starts in um, verse 14. Again, this is Ephesians 6, 10 through 22. The full armor of God, your loins gird with truth, breastplate of righteousness, feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked, helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And then it says this good thing, which is in verse 18, where it says that we pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Again, us as worshipers, we have to have a prayer life. We have to have a word 
Like, we can't just get up there and just sound good, sing good. Us as uh, minstrels, those who play, we can't just want to get up there and play because as soon as we get up there, sometimes we'll probably hear this good thing in our head that have been in something that we done heard out in the street. That I, I done heard some, some minstrels or some musicians playing um, worldly songs during, during service. Why? That, that's, that's not cool. You should be hearing a sound from heaven. Anyway, I'm not on here to beat nobody up, but I'm on here to give what God told me to speak. The reflections of a worshiper. I'm going to be doing this every Wednesday. Again, I didn't do it last week, Wednesday, because for those who missed it, I was in the hospital. They um, uh, had, had diagnosed me again for a second time. Um, with the coronavirus. I'm not scared to share my testimony because I am healed. I had fever, chills, a whole lot of stuff. I still got some breathing issues going on or whatnot. I had um, another infection that they get diagnosed me with. I had to take pills and all of that stuff. Um, but God is faithful. But God is able and he is healing yet healing me. So keep me in your prayers. Those who are listening, you know, sometimes it's a little taxing even for me to talk, to uh, present a sentence, but it's okay because I'm not going to let the devil shut me up. I'm not going to let this COVID-19 stop me from what it is that God will have me to say, to sing, to do whatever it is I'm going forth in the name of Jesus. Um, not in my own strength, but in the strength of God, as God continues to build me up, I decree and declare over my life and whoever else is out there, you listening, you are strong. God is building you up your immune system. I speak to our immune systems in the name of Jesus. I speak to our vocal cords. I speak to, to every crevice, all our blood vessels in the name of Jesus, that we are going to be strengthened. We are strong and by Jesus stripes, we are healed. Amen and amen. If you might not be dealing with COVID-19, you might be dealing with some type of anxiety or something, but you are healed in the name of Jesus. And I say to dig in your word, dig into your prayer life. You know, we all have been um, locked in and secluded from everybody. Hey, Lisa, God bless you. Hey, Ebony, God bless you. Hey, David, God bless you. We all have been secluded. We've been locked in, you know, um, and that is a time that we should have been praying, talking to God, you know, getting to know ourselves in God and who we are in him, you know, getting in our word, reading our word, you know, um, there are some moments and times where I had, you know, I cried, I prayed, I, um, had my, my quiet times, my quiet moments, listening to worship music, you know, uh, just to, to continue to help me to grow stronger in God and to not lose faith and to not lose sight of what it is that God told me and who God called me to be. And I want to say that same thing to y'all. Hey, Cousin Sarita. Hey. Um, hey, Dorothy. Um, I don't know who else is on, but hey, everybody. Hey, my darling, Timothy Wright. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep on moving forward. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Upgrade your prayer life. Upgrade your word life when it comes to you being a worshiper is good to prepare and us for us to have songs and a lineup and all of that stuff but don't be afraid to to sometimes waver away from the songs and let god download on the inside of us the song thank god for every yes amen i thank god for every breath that I'm able to take, even right now, you know the, the the I got some pictures that I took. I don't know if y'all y'all probably won't even be able to see them, but I got marks where they had two IVs hooked up to me on oh, both of my arms. You know they stuck me in my arm with some other stuff. You know, and it still kind of hurt a little bit. It, it has pain, but again, yes, I thank God for every breath that I take. Every when I say every single one, every one, every sentence that I'm able to form right now, I thank God. I am thank God that I'm able to walk because I wasn't, it was taxing to walk. My body was in so much pain. I, I was hurting, bad, fever, 
sweats at night, all of that craziness. <laughs> but y'all, God again is faithful. God again is faithful. Definitely got some information to share. A business opportunity. Praise God. Thank you, Vera. Okay, we'll talk soon or inbox me what you're talking about. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share that that with you all. For those who have been, you probably been panicking, probably been scared. Um, don't let fear paralyze you and keep you or stop you from doing the things that God told you to do, even if it's for you to go outside of the house. You know, use wisdom. Now, I ain't going to say be crazy, but use wisdom. If you go go outside the house, you're going to go and do what it is that God, had, God has told you to do. Even if it's inside the house, God gave you this idea. I was reading a couple of posts where it was saying something about um, the, the needle, the, um, the needle and thread or the sewing machine was um created in a dream so it god i know god has been talking to some of us in dreams visions or whatever it is don't be scared you don't have to have everything perfect when it comes to your um your dream or what it is that god yo know, this i the idea that you have everything doesn't have to be perfect but everything is going to come together just step out and do it and i'm even talking to myself everything don't have to be perfect i used to be that way you know wanting everything to be perfect even when it came to these posts that i post i'm learning it don't have to be perfect just do it like nike and go forth in the lord if he told you to do something just go for it don't wait because i have had times when I just waited and waited and waited and waited and a year went by and I'm like dang I still didn't do what it is that God told me to do or two years went by oh, dang I still didn't do what it is that God told me to do okay I veered off of what I was talking about but anyway it was meant for me to say so I love y'all um God bless you I'm not going to um sing anything tonight I don't feel that in my spirit is I just wanted to give what it is that God um told me to give ephesians 6 10 through 22 focus scripture was 12 we wrestle not against flesh and blood we on the front line and we got to do better worshipers praise and worship leaders minstrels who are playing uh before god's people and we gotta pray we gotta be in our word we got to hear from heaven what it is that God has for his people. Even sometimes it's something that God will have for us to speak, to pray, to say, to sing, to play. We are essential to the services on Sunday. It ain't just about sounding good. Now, I'm not saying that we get up there and we bang on the piano. I'm not saying that we get up there and just sing some crazy notes. That's not what I'm saying because we are supposed to present things to God in a in a in a um in excellence. We are supposed to present things to God in excellence. So, I'm not saying to get up there being whack or none of that stuff. We prepare ourselves like we're supposed to prepare ourselves in the word for it and it says just read ephesians 6 you'll see all the things that we need to prepare ourselves for as worshipers as ambassadors for christ we need to we should want our reflection to reflect god you know um there is a saying that um i've heard my parents say i've heard some parents say you know um going out here embarrassing me you know um when you going you've been in school and you acting up in school and the teachers calling your house or whatever or call or, or you got children of your own and so now the teachers or the principal or whatever they calling the house and you feeling embarrassed like man i ain't raised my child to be like that or your parents didn't raise you to be that way and and now they calling or your parent get a call from the police i don't know any of you who have ever been arrested you know or you had to call your parents from the jail cell like hey i got arrested you know that's embarrassing like i didn't raise you to be that way what are you doing who are you hanging with you know and sometimes we have to cut off people we can't hang with the same people as worshipers we have to move in another direction we can't um 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 go to everything we can't go to the clubs especially if we want to be righteous if we want to be holy if we want to um really 
Um, I'm not, and I'm, please, please don't get me wrong. I am not saying that we cannot go and we cannot enjoy our life and that we can't go and have fun because I love to laugh. I love to enjoy my life. I love to have fun. That is not what I am saying. What I am saying is prepare your life for what it is that God called and chose you to do as a worshiper. And do it in spirit and in truth. Put it on the full armor of God. Because again, we are not wrestling with people. We are not wrestling with this flesh and blood with people. So don't look at their faces again. We wrestling against. I, I want to read it again aloud for those. Uh, we For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places so i'm gonna go back to this reflection thing we want to be a great reflection of god we don't want to stand up before god's people embarrassing God or making God look bad. I heard a lot of people say they don't be wanting to come to church. They don't want to hear nothing about God because of how, because of the reflection they see through people of God, people who go to church every Sunday or during the week. So let's fix our reflection, people, so we can look like God. Pray, stay worded up. All right, I'm gonna get on off of here. I love y'all. That's all I want to say. A good God bless you. It's your lady friend, Elisha Batikoa. Tune in next Wednesday because I am going to be on again with the Reflections of Worshipper. I might have a special guest on so they can give their perspective of the Reflection of Worshipper. I love y'all again. A good God bless you. Go read Ephesians 6 for yourself. You can read the full chapter if you want, or again, you can start at verse 10 and read it all the way through. All right. I love y'all again. God bless you. It's your late friend. Let's go up. I'm out.